we're talking about even functions and odd functions. If something is an even function, then it is a graph that is symmetrical in the y-axis. You're going to have to show algebraically that something is an even function. And to do that, we have this formula here, f of minus x equals f of x. So if you sub negative x into your function and it comes out as the original f of x function, then it's going to be an even function. For an odd function, a function or a relation is odd if it stays unchanged by rotating the graph 180 degrees about the origin. Algebraically to prove this, if you sub in minus x into your function and it is the negative of your original function, then it will be odd. So let's practice showing algebraically whether something is an odd or an even function or neither. So question number one, it says algebraically test each function and state if it is odd or even or neither and then sketch the function. So for both types of equations that we had up here, they both had f of negative x in them. If you start by always substituting that in, you'll be able to get to either type of solution. So let me show you. Start by subbing in f of negative x. That means everywhere where there's an x in the equation, we replace it with a negative x. So that would be negative x to the power of 4 plus 1. Any, anything with a negative sign to a, an even power is always going to become positive. So that will become a positive x to the 4 plus 1. Once you've simplified, if that answer is the same as your original function, which it is, we say this is equal to f of x, the original function. So I've shown that f of minus x is equal to f of x, which is, therefore, it means that it is an even function. Okay, we also want to sketch that graph. Now, the x to the power of 4 graph looks very similar to the parabola, and adding 1 to it means that we'd be moving it one space up. So here's my Cartesian plane. The vertex is going to be moved up one spot to 1. And then I would just need to test a point on either side to show the steepness of my parabola. So if I sub in 1 into the original equation, 1 to the power of 4 is 1, plus 1 makes 2. So 1, 2, there would be my next point. Also, because it's going to be symmetrical, we know at negative 1, it's also going to be at 2. And there is my curve. Looking just like a parabola, it just would get a lot steeper, a lot faster. Let's try question B. So we always start by subbing in minus x into our function everywhere where there's an x. So x cubed is going to become minus x cubed. And minus x is going to be minus and then minus x. I always put my negative x in brackets so that I don't make any mistakes with the minus signs. Then negative x to an odd power means that that would stay negative x cubed. A minus and a minus becomes a plus x. Now is that the same as the original function? No, it is not. So it's not an even function. So the next thing we do, if it's not the same, is we factorize out a negative sign. That would give me x cubed minus x. If what is in the brackets is the same as the original function, which it is, we have negative f of x, which is the definition of an odd function. Okay, 
So you could see in part A that our graph was symmetrical over the y-axis, which is what an even function should be. And now let's draw our odd function for B. Now to do that, I'm going to need to find some intercepts. So going back to my original equation, f of x equals, I'm going to factorize out an x. So it'd be x bracket x squared take away 1. Now the x squared minus 1 could be factorized further to be a difference of two squares. That would be double set of brackets, <clears throat> x at the beginning of both of them, 1 at the end of each of them, 1's a plus and 1's a minus. From that you would get the zeros. The zeros will be from the first x at the frontier, we would get x equals 0. From the first bracket, we would get negative 1. And from the second bracket, we would get a positive 1. Then I just need to draw up my Cartesian plane and show an intercept at 0, positive 1, and negative 1. I need to know which direction my graph is bending through those crosses, and unfortunately, my y-intercept is on the origin, so that is not going to help me. So we could sub in the value 2. If I sub that into the original equation, 2 cubed is 8, minus 2 makes 6. So up here at 6, we would have the point 2, 6 up here. Now because these are all just normal zeros, there's no doubles or triples in here, that means it's going to come down through that, through the 1, back up through the 0, and down through the negative 1. And there is my odd function, which if you can imagine spinning that around on the origin, 180 degrees, this part would spin around to become that part, which is what an odd function looks like. Okay, we have another question on the next page. C. So to find out what type of function this is, we always start by subbing in negative x. So every x, the x squared will become negative x squared. The 4x will become 4 and then brackets negative x. When we square a negative, it will become a positive x squared. 4 times negative x is negative 4 x. Is that the same as my original function? No, it's not because of that minus sign. So it's not going to be even. I would try to bring out a minus sign to see if it would be odd, but that would give me negative x squared plus 4x. So while I have the 4 now being positive like I need it, this extra minus sign here still means that it's not going to be an odd function. So that means it's neither. That means it is not symmetrical over the y-axis and it does not have 180 degree rotational symmetry around the origin. But we can still draw it. So let's take our original function in the original form and factorize out an x. So that would be x plus 4. That means that I would have zeros or intercepts at x equals 0 and x equals minus 4. Now this is a parabola. On our Cartesian plane at negative 4 and at 0. Okay, so because it's a parabola I'd like to find my vertex which would be at x equals 2. If I sub in x equals 2, negative 2, sorry, then I would get negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2, which gives negative 4. So down here at negative 4, negative 2, negative 4, there's my turning point and there is my parabola. So while the parabola itself is symmetrical, if you were to draw a line through that vertex, it is not symmetrical over the y-axis, so it's not even. 
It also doesn't rotate 180 degrees to give the same graph, so it's not odd either. So that's what a neither graph can look like. So you need to do exercise 4C. For question 9, you will need to use Desmos because it asks you to use technology to graph some of the more complicated graphs in that question.